Hey guys, this is Abhishek from Gadgetsuits.com, and today we are going to talk about the quick tips and tricks of the new Utopia phone, which has been launched. This is a new phone coming from U Televentures. It is a premium phone in terms of the build quality and design, and it has got premium price as well, which you will have to pay. It is going to be retailed at twenty five thousand rupees. You can right now pre book Utopia in case you would like to buy on Amazon. dot in. Talking about the hardware, it has got very good hardware inside, which is Snapdragon eight one zero, which is an octa core CPU and great GPU inside. It comes with four GB of RAM. 32 GB of internal storage, non-removable battery, 21 megapixel rear camera, and 8 megapixel fixed focus front camera. So the overall phone is good in terms of the features and the kind of hardware it is coming at, and it is the first phone from any Indian manufacturer to have Snapdragon 810. So let's get started with our tips and tricks video. Before we get started, let's talk about the physical aspects. It has got metallic buttons as far as power and sleep key is concerned, and the volume lockers are divided into two buttons. Talking about the top, we have got a 3.5 mm audio jack. At the rear, we have got 21 megapixel camera, which has got dual tone LED flash. At the bottom, you get micro SD port for data syncing and charging. Talking about other aspect of the phone, the phone has got metallic finish at the back side. It is a full sheet of metal. On the front, we get 8 megapixel camera, and at the bottom on the front, we get touch capacity buttons which are there within the display. There are no physical buttons, and you cannot switch in between the physical and touch capacity buttons on this phone. Now let's talk about some of the new features which we have got with Utopia. The first one is around you, with which you can actually find out the information like food, restaurant, shopping information. You can also find out the local travel information like bus, train, and hotel information as well as per your location. You can input all that data. U Televentures have partnered with several other services like Zomato, Ola Cabs to provide you all this information. You will also be able to find out the current information about cricket whenever a cricket match is going on, and you have a reward system as well. So all these things will work with the U account. Talking about the fingerprint sensor, the fingerprint sensor on the new Utopia is good, but it is not very accurate. It does take some time. There is a nice chrome lining in between the metal frame and the glass, which give this device a very good look and feel. And you can also see the microphone, which is on the side of it. Talking about the SIM card connectivity, it has got a SIM tray which can take a nano SIM or a micro SIM one at a time, and the other SIM card slot will have to be a micro SIM. So you can insert one micro SIM and another SIM card has to be a nano SIM. You cannot use two SIM card and one micro SD card all at the same time. In terms of the display, the display is coming from Sharp, and the display is good in terms of viewing angles and the overall color prediction of the display is nice as well. It has got audio effects functionality, which is supported with DTS sound, which gives you very good sound quality through the in-ear headphones, which are coming within the package, which are coming from House of Marley. Talking about the OS version, it comes with Android 5.1.1. But it is upgradable to Marshmallow as per the information which we have got, and it comes with Cyanogen 12.1. We have got 32 GB of internal storage, out of which 24 GB is available, and you do have approximately 1 GB applications coming pre-installed. You have some third-party applications like Around You, which you cannot uninstall, but you can force them. Them in case you would like to do that, you cannot uninstall those applications. OTG is supported. Once you plug in a OTG flash drive. You will be able to see that over there. Talking about the RAM management, the RAM management on the phone is done nicely. It has got 4 GB of RAM and 2 GB of RAM approximately is free most of the time. You do have some gestures which allows you to control the music. You can launch the camera. You can enable and disable the flash by drawing a V on the phone when the display is turned off. And this is how it works. Again, this feature is not very accurate. It does work sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't. However, the camera launch is pretty quick when you would like to do that with the help of this feature. You do have some different options like buttons in which you can have the power button to end the call. You can enable that functionality. You can also turn on the left hand mode in which, whenever you are holding the phone in the landscape orientation mode, you will see the touch back buttons over there on the side, so that you can easily exit the screen. For example, you are in full screen mode. You have launched any application. You will be able to exit from that particular application by tapping on the home button, which will be on the left hand side of your screen. 
talking about some of the privacy features it has got a privacy guard in which you can specify which application should have access to your personal data this is again done as a part of the customization which cyanogen has provided on this phone we do have the option of specifying specific application which you would like to allow uh, when it comes to personal data access or not you do have a block caller list functionality as well you can have certain people on your block list so that you won't receive calls you have the option of encrypting sms as well with the whisper push and you do have the option of sending the stats to phanogen so that they can actually improve the phone as far as software is concerned yes it does have a fingerprint sensor as well you can have approximately five to six fingerprints added on this device you have to enter a pin or any password so that in case you don't remember the fingerprint you can unlock the device with that the procedure is very simple and just like any other Android lollipop phone you might have seen with fingerprint sensor you have to place your finger over the sensor and it will detect that and it will give you a vibration and then you have to do that again and again again once you have configured the fingerprint sensor you can unlock the phone most of the time again it will work approximately 7 out of 10 times this is something which we have seen after more testing initially it was not working that well but sometimes it does give you an issue and it doesn't work at all for example right Right now in front of the screen you can see that I'm trying to unlock the phone with the fingerprint sensor but it is not at all working and this is a problem with this phone and you get different kind of theme options as far as customization is concerned you can specify a theme toggle in which you can control the color of the theme and you can change the color of the theme as per the application in which you are running and it will be kind of a small uh, toggle button which will be a floating button Apart from this, you have live display supported, you have double tap to wake up, double tap to sleep as well. You do have wireless display supported as well on the new Utopia. For the LED notification light, you can control the color of that and you do have different color options. You have an RGB panel in which you can select what kind of colors you would like to see when the battery is fully charged, charging or battery low. You can have different colors for all of these things. You do have the option of specifying the notification light and the color of it for a missed call for a voicemail as well as for apps notification so for all these things you can specify a different color and you can have custom values as well in case you would like to do that you can specify an rgb value and you can decide it from the color palette as well you have support for live display in which it will improve the display brightness especially when you are using it in outdoor and you have the option of controlling the color temperature as well you can have it different for the day and different for the night as well and all these things can be controlled as far as display is concerned and you have automatic outdoor mode as well which will increase the brightness automatically and you do have support for wi-fi tethering although vpn is there but nfc is not supported let's talk about the camera of utopia we have a rear camera of 21 megapixel which is pretty good and fast in terms of capturing photos either low light or artificial light is concerned in daylight the photos look very good the photos which we captured from the rear camera were very good in terms of the color production and in terms of details as well it could capture good amount of details even when we took these photos in low light one of the best quality as compared to some of the devices which are available in the same price segment. Let's talk hardware. We have got Snapdragon 810 on this device clocked at 2 GHz. We have Adreno 430 GPU which is pretty good in terms of handling high definition games, heavy graphic games as well as heavy graphic intensive tasks in case you would like to do that. The phone is very powerful and it can handle day to day tasks very effectively. It has got a quad HD display as well which is very good in terms of viewing angles and color production is also good. We have got full set of sensors which includes accelerometer, magnetic field sensor and we have got all the sensors you would need on a smartphone like this we have got good scores on nina mark which is 57.6 fps and when we played asphalt 8 it was running smoothly and we did not experience any issues as far as graphic lag is concerned the phone is capable of handling any high definition game including modern combat 5 asphalt 8 and other heavy games you can play them smoothly without any issues and the sound quality is something which is good but not great the loudspeaker at the back side of the phone is not very loud but it is good overall when we played games like asphalt 8 we did not experience much heating the overall temperature was well below 30 
5 degrees and it was maximum 31 degrees when we played these games both at the front as well as at the back. The device was comfortable to hold when we played high definition games and we did not experience any heating issues on this phone. This is all we have as far as the quick overview and tips and tricks of the new Utopia phone. These are all the things which we found on the phone as far as features and options are concerned. In case we have missed anything, please let us know. In case you would like us to do any specific video on Utopia, let us know. We will do that. This is all we have. In case you have any queries and questions, please leave your queries and questions in the comment section below. You can like this video. This video help you by clicking the like button below. You can subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.